Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, how are you today? So I'm back uh, with a new tutorial video and today's episode is about content I feel in Adobe Photoshop. So lots of you guys traveling around the world and after getting home uh, with the beautiful pictures uh, you captured, uh, you will see so many problems in your photos. Uh, the, the most of uh, the problem is like uh, in your background. There are so many noises and, pro and peoples are in your background and you don't want this in your photo. So if you want to get rid of these types of problem, this tutorial is for you. So without further ado, let's get back to work. So uh, what is uh, content error fill actually do? Uh, the content error fill uh, introduced in Photoshop in CS5 uh, or in CS6 version, I'm not sure. But uh, we are using 2000 uh, CC 2018 version, so it's really upgrading day by day, and the content error tool also upgraded. So let's see uh, what we can do with content error. Uh, I just downloaded a picture. You can see uh, a kangaroo running on the road. Uh, our aim is to uh, get rid of this kangaroo from this road. So uh, let's see if we can do this real quick with content error. We have a lot of tool, uh, healing tools in uh, Adobe Photoshop like Spot Healing, Healing Patch uh, and Spot uh, Clone Stump tool but uh, uh, we'll, we will do this with Content Ever to see the flexibility of this tool. So just select the patch tool, the sh uh, shortcut key is J, select the kangaroo with the shadow. Okay, selected and go to edit, fill and content hour. So it will select content hour and uh, the rest of the work uh, uh, done by automatically by Photoshop. Let's see. Uh, okay. So what happened here? Uh, the area is selected. Uh, this area filled by the information around the around this area and uh, uh, it's pretty easy actually so let's see again uh, just selected this portion go to edit fill and just content area so it uh, adapted the uh, pixel and uh, uh, the color from from this side and this side and applied here so it's a pretty good job here actually so this picture is very straightforward and there is no uh, uh, so lots of uh, information just one color so let's see with the uh, complex picture so let's see with this picture uh, this is a uh, this is a colleague of mine uh, uh, he liked this photo a lot but uh, he don't want these people in, in his background so uh, let's see if we can get rid of this by content ever actually so first of all uh, select with this patch tool okay go to edit fill content error. done so let's see the uh, it worked really good but if you don't uh, want this these things here you can do this with the uh, clone uh, stamp tool uh, just uh, just uh, complete the portion here okay moving around uh, we have to select this girl without selecting the back let's see what will be the output so shift 5 shift f5 is the shortcut key of content ever feel okay uh, not that but we have to do here a little bit uh, select the patch tool again select this portion shift f5 okay so it's back to the shape control d okay uh, select them here shift f5 our okay uh, there is something uh, 
let's do this again shift f5 select to the shape shift f5 great job select them shift f5 good work select him shift f5 okay uh we have to do one more time here shift f5 okay done okay uh, there are so many problem there are so many people around here okay select him shift f5 select him and them shift f5 okay So we are just selecting and uh, fill this area with the content ever shift f5 done select them let's see if we can select all of this shift f5 okay good work uh, here mm, let's see select them shift f5 Oh, great work. Uh, select them first and then we we'll go to the background. Mm, not bad. Select them. Shift F5. If you are not satisfied with the result, do this again. Mm, not good. Shift F5. Mm -hmm. We have to see what is the problem in here. Let's check again. Uh, actually, what content I will feel actually doing here? Uh, this area is filling by this area, so there is a problem actually. Uh, we will do this a little bit close here or just uh, copy the area and paste it so if you don't know how is it uh, done uh, go to the clone stump tool with alt you will select the area and just click to paste it so it's done as well uh, is there any problem here uh, no so if you uh, if you want some more perfection you can you can uh, you can select the shadows here and shift f5 okay because there are so many people here and uh, uh, these are the shadows of them so we are just creating them uh, are there anything here uh, i think it's pretty good so see so if you can uh, um, save it, save as uh, I'm saving it, and we'll see the result side by side. So this is the original photo. this is what we just date so let's see the difference here there this guy this big this uh, background everything is done and this is uh, very quick so continue ever move tool is a very good tool in photoshop uh, so 
uh, if you learned something uh, today's from today's video uh, like it share it and don't subscribe to subscribe uh, if you if you uh, need some help in Photoshop or Illustrator you can uh, you can uh, give a comment here I uh, will uh, try my best to solve your problem so inshallah see you next time bye bye